Behind the scenes, Carlo Ancelotti breaks down game plans for Super Cup Clash. Another Clasico, Real Madrid versus Barcelona. Yes, we are doing well. There is calmness and the players have recovered physically or are in the process of recovering in time for the final. Morale-wise, the players are in good spirits. We are close to a new title, the first of the season, and we will try to do what we have to do, which is simply to try to win. Carvajal is fine. He just needed one more day of rest. It's a bit more challenging for the veterans to, to recover compared to the younger players, but Carvajal will play without any issues. And yes, I have already decided on the players who will play tomorrow, but I don't want to say anything yet. I think Xavi is doing a good job at Barcelona. Certainly he doesn't have the experience that I have, but that's how it is when you start working. And I didn't have experience myself when I started coaching at his age. His track record is very good, and I believe the fact that he was one of the best midfielders in the world helps him. Obviously, this is a different job, but his footballing ideas have helped him a lot and will continue to do so. Uh, Tony has noticed the boos, um, but this has not affected him. And it won't affect him because Tony has a great understanding of this world and none of this will affect him. Yeah, I haven't talked to him about it, but he is motivated and ready to play. Nacho is one of the key members of this, of this team and an example for the new players joining the team. And this is because of his level of seriousness, professionalism, commitment, and motivation. Well, matches are planned with 11 players. I personally never think about the changes I'm going to make before a match. I just don't do that. Every match can change due to details. So it's very complicated to plan a substitution before a game. In the case of Vinicius, for example, he was returning from an injury against Mallorca, so I did plan that. But for tomorrow's match, I don't have the substitutions planned, but those on the bench will be ready to play. What I can tell you with certainty is that if we play better than Barcelona, we will win. But I also say that I would be happy to win, even if we don't deserve it too much. We signed Kepa after Courtois' injury, so Kepa has been the starter. <laughs> but then Kepa got injured, and Lunin, who is the substitute goalkeeper, has played and has earned the right to compete for the starting position. It's not due to any shortcomings from Kepa, but rather because Lunin has played very well. And for this reason, I feel like I can't choose a clear starter and substitute. The atmosphere is good because people feel a lot of passion for football, um, and they really like it. We have many Real Madrid fans here. I would be very surprised if Xavi said he doesn't like to win. Obviously, he likes to win a lot, just like me. He knows perfectly well, as I do, that this will be a very evenly matched game, as always. Yes, this is a, a situation that we have uh, 
analyzed as we haven't had a good start at the Barcelona Stadium. The strategy in the first half hasn't been good, especially defensively. This is something that we will obviously take into account for tomorrow's match, as well as considering the lineup of the opposing team, which can influence our game. Are you talking about Real Madrid versus Barcelona? Well, there's always excitement in preparing for these matches because they are games that are watched all around the world. I believe this will be a good spectacle. This tournament ends tomorrow. The rest is another story. This is an important title for the club's image and everything it involves. I believe the Clásico evens out everything. No, Real Madrid doesn't seek revenge. Real Madrid only goes out to give their best because of the demands that come with this club and wearing this jersey. We don't think about revenge. First of all, Zidane has been the best player I have seen in, seen in training. It was incredible what Zidane was capable of doing in training sessions. Uh, Zidane has helped me a lot as an assistant because he knew the club very well. And I knew him well. In that first year, he helped me a lot with the French players, also in adapting to the Spanish culture and Spanish football. He was a great help. No. Well, obviously, I am very happy and satisfied with this, but But titles stay in the suitcase. You open it and look at it from time to time. It reminds you of that day and what you have achieved. But the, the important thing is the days afterward, not the day that has passed and what you have won. This is my way of thinking. You always have to look forward no, no matter what happens. Tomorrow could be another title or even a defeat. When Mendy is in good shape, he is simply the best left back in the world uh, defensively. Uh, offensively, he can improve. Uh, and it seems to me that he has improved because he scored a goal the other day unexpectedly. But on a defensive level, and if he is in optimal physical condition, Mendy is the best left back in the world.